welcome to my YouTube channel. Out the UFC, DC. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Habib Nurmagomedov. Again, for Habib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Irvine, California, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting. Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. It's in there deep, there you go. Kimura finish 
by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's on your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. He certainly put a lot of stuff in the